Hello and welcome to From the Bench. I'm Peterson Goodwin. It is December 2018 and I'm finally returning to our rack mount preamp project that I first told you about in April. So uh, it's been a long time coming, uh, but look where we are. My goodness, wow, that is quite a big PCB and this is only half of how big it's gonna be. Um, this is one channel of a mic preamp with three color stages. The colors snap in. Um, if you're not familiar with, familiar with color, check out DIYrecordingEquipment.com forward slash color. I'm going to speak as though you are familiar with color and our CP5 mic preamp and the color palette because this really builds off of those designs. So, um, in April I told you I wanted to make a rack mount stereo mic preamp with color and I solicited your feedback of, I, I should say, I didn't say I wanted to make it stereo. I wasn't sure whether to make it stereo or four channels. And um, the trade-off was if I made it stereo, I could do more features. If I made four channels, it would be uh, more cost effective per channel but with fewer features. And overwhelmingly, your feedback was, we want two channels with all the bells and whistles. So I'm very happy to have uh, worked on that because it's, it's a lot of fun to add features. So what features do we have? We have the mic preamp gain, all important. The standard um, kind of housekeeping features of a mic preamp, the plus 48 phantom power, the pad, 20 dB pad, polarity switch. Then uh, we have a couple kind of unique ones, a line input. So not only is this really a mic preamp, it's a line level processor you could use during mixing. And this isn't just a pad either. This is a totally separate input with a different line level receiver. So it's really optimized for both line level and mic level. This isn't kind of a Oh, it's actually a mic preamp, but it has this pad. No, it's a true line level input. Um, and a high pass filter for filtering out low end mud before you get to the rest of the circuit, which is a color section. We have three colors here. Um, plug one in. So you can see there are three. I put that upside down. Well, um, we have three colors, each with their individual um, gain controls bypass controls, and then a master bypass for engaging or bypassing all three. Um, we also, this is a brand new thing, we have a mix switch. So this just mixes the dry and the wet signal 50-50, meaning you apply all the colors and, and you could go really overboard and then mix in the totally clean signal with that to do some really nasty, cool parallel processing. Um, so I'm really enjoying playing with that feature. Uh, and then we have kind of your standard output trim or boost to make up for any gain lost or added by the colors. Um, so that's it basically, mic, mic input or line input, colors, output control. Um, and that's the circuit. So it's circuitry, it's sounds that we've already done before. It's basically the CP5 mic preamp with a color palette, a full color palette after it. Um, and you can bypass the preamp and go right to the palette. So you could think of this like getting both of those 500 series modules and putting them right next to each other and adding a couple features like the high pass filter and the mix control. Um, and it will be your standard 19 inch rack mount unit. Um, we will use a line wart, as they say, power supply as we do with our two space 500 series rack. Um, a couple things are different. With our 500 series rack, we used an older generation line wart supply that was, um, to be honest, rather noisy. And so because it was noisy, we over specced the voltage so that we're bringing it in to the box at a higher voltage and then we can knock it down to the plus minus 16 that we need for our circuit. And in knocking it down, in regulating it, we filter out all that noise. Um, and since 
Since we designed that, the company that makes these supplies for us has a new revision that's quieter. Um, it has more stiff power rails, meaning you can draw more power from it. And the, um, the rails, that plus minus 16 number, does not move. Um, so we don't need to re-regulate it as we're doing with the previous supply to, um, to stiffen the rails, so to speak, to make them stay at that number. Um, but we do need to filter out noise still. This is less noisy, but it's a switch mode power supply. You always are gonna need to filter it. So in this design, we've realized we can just do passive filtering. And that's what I was playing around with last night. And I'm really thrilled that it looks like we can get this supply to be very, very quiet. We're talking under one millivolt of noise um, with just passive filtering. So the passive filter is the same kind of filter that you would find in an EQ, like our like a Poltec EQ. It's a resistor and a bunch of capacitors to make a really, really low, low pass filter. Um, and it just filters out all that noise so that none of it makes it into the audio circuitry is basically the idea. Um, I haven't finalized what that will look like, but just to give you a sense, last night I was playing with using a one ohm resistor feeding uh, eight, yeah, it was eight 2200 microfarad caps all in parallel. So that's a lot of capacitance and a tiny bit of resistance. And what that does is it makes for a very low filter. And it also has the, the beautiful side effect of giving lots of reserve current in the power supply being stored in those capacitors. Um, so I'm very happy with that. It's a simpler approach. There are less uh, bells and whistles, less places for a build to kind of go off the rails, a lot easier to troubleshoot. And we don't need to worry about heat, no heat sinking, no regulating. It's wonderful, it, it warms my heart. So that is where we're at with this design. Um, I'm in the stage now of cleaning this up, uh, looking for any errors I made. I, this, um, I made some small errors I won't get into. Um, but in this phase, this is our last chance to make any changes to the feature set uh, before we order boards and front panels and stuff. So this is where I would like your feedback again. I'm going to post the front panels and the full feature list and just take a look at it for me and let me know, are there any features that you think um, I missed that feel essential to you? Is there anything that I included that you think we could get rid of? Um, I, will, I will leave that attached to this post. Please leave a comment either here or on the website and I really look forward to your feedback and I cannot wait, I cannot wait to get a, a rack mount unit kit uh, out there. This has been a dream of mine for, since at least 2014, since we launched uh, the color format. So I'm very excited to get that out hopefully early next year. So thank you for watching. Have a uh, wonderful holidays, everybody. And uh, I look forward to your feedback. Thank you.